Hello, the Rebel, and I'm Mr. Mocha and thank you for joining me here in Hearts of Iron 4 using a mod called Red Flood, in which, as you can probably tell by now, we're playing as Persia, in which we must begin with a focus. And we're also led by Reza Shah Pahlavi. Oh, the Pahlavi family, actually, we have the National Spirit. Anglo Persian Oil Company. Also, we are using the mod, mods, uh, of course, Red Flood, State Central Tool Mod, as well as Player of the Peace Conferences by Ashes of Greatness. The overthrow of the Qajars was supposed to halt the decline of Persia instead. Though Reza Shah's reforms have succeeded in part, there are still serious issues in seditious elements undermining the country. Oh no, the ashes of greatness. The past few decades have not been kind to the Persian nation following the many humiliations and cruel occupations by foreign tyrants such as the rugged Russian bear or that accursed lion of Albion. The once great empire of the Near East has fallen from a regional hegemon and the protector of the Shia faith to another forgettable and impoverished rump state. It was taken for granted that the fall of these giants following the Great War would bring prosperity to Persia, but despite the collapse of the British Raj and the Russian Civil War, we only fell further. Revolutionaries, opportunists, and secessionists, and their mar marauding bands of thugs and savages. They wandered across our lands and carved it up into many different states and nations. British soldiers, in response to the vacuum left by the collapsing Russian Empire, only tightened their grip on Persia, leaving us unable to respond to the injustices in the West. This only intensified in the following years as the loss of the Raj fueled British demands for Iranian oil, leading to the Shah becoming little more than a puppet with the Anglo-Persian oil company, APOC, effectively controlling the country. The lack of checks and balances on the influence and strength of the APOC has had deeply or has has had the deeply concerning side effect of pushing workers, peasants, and nationalists into the hands of the socialist movements in reaction to capitalist agitation and exploitation of Persian territories. Support for the Council of Smen has had achieved its strongest forms in ethnical or ethnically non-Persian pieces of land that miraculously did not break away in the 20s, a state of affairs that has made the situation far more dire as it risks not only being unacceptable political change, but also risks the territorial integrity of the already beaten and mutilated body of Persia. It seems undeniable that to many that, in the coming years, the jewel of the Orient will either fall to the Red Flood or use its conquerors to crush it, even if it may come at the cost of total integration. Nothing, however, isn't ever for certain. And only time will tell what God has in store for us. A dire situation. Further concessions to London? Ooh. I don't know about that, man. Take more debts once again. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. We're doing this one. Further concessions, then. Expanding the Gulf concessions and reducing the Persian government's oil revenues is not a choice the Persians like, but it is a position of the APOC all the same. Oh, you dirty, dirty bird of Albion, or the, you know, the British Empire. Oh, boy. Utterly pitiful. Wow. India looks god-awful, but... Uh, do you have anything here, Pahlavi? No. We're led by him, who's a right-wing authoritarian. And... Oh, we got quite a few ideologies here. We have Desp Despotic, Mohammed Rez Reza Pahlavi. Okay. Uh, Accelerationists take Madagascar. Very cool. Uh, we already have Burgundian system. No, we have Devotees of Islam. Ooh. Jihad Wen. Hebzi Yangal. Vanguard Socialists. We also have the Communist Party. Good old... Uh, oh. So the Communists are called Popular Socialists. Good to know, and actually before we let time go on too far, we do have like five divisions here, so so I forgot to set this up too, but whatever. Uh, you guys just hang out around here then. Thank you very much. And we also will finish this off with a conservative Ahmad Kavam. Pretty cool, but let's do take more debts once again. Oh, I don't want to do this. Paying for the army, the reconstruction of the 20s, and for new industry and infrastructure has cost the treasure dearly. The turmoil of Turkestan, India, and more have made international trade ties all the worse our debts are mounting and we may need more time to pay or we need we may need more to pay for further modernization policies so we lose a lot more political power we get worse consumer goods and we get more daily basically communist support for the concessions of london worrying news has come today from the representatives of the anglo-persian oil company <clears throat> Issuing demands for increased privileges, tax exemptions in areas with more than a given estimate of oil, and even expansion of regions where monopolies have been granted to, to APOC. Demands as outrageous like these ought to be costing the people their heads. But APOC is no ordinary entity. It's deeply connected to the British Empire, which means that the action against them could throw us into conflict with the Anglo menace. A fate that none are eager to see that come about. So the reasons APOC cites for these demands are based mainly on the rising threat of war in Europe and how Britain needs easier access to Persian oil fields in order to fuel their war na their vast navy and rapidly expanding air force. Britain and APOC have also been quick to remind us about our debts to the UK from various loans that we've taken throughout the years and that Britain would not hesitate to force out payments from us should the needs arise, no matter how harsh the actions may be. Those or These debts, obligations, give us little choice in the matter. It would be foolish to risk embargoes, or worse, war with Anglo-Menace, but even if it shall disgrace the Persian nation, what more could they want? 
We've already paid 5% of our debt, so our position is one of insurmountable debt to Britain. Though conniving, uh, through conniving, confusing treaties, and a sheer strong army, Persia finds itself in taking more and more debt with the rest of our money, we might be able to pay off a little bit of it, which costs 50 political power, which is interesting. And it's also very interesting that we also have this already unresearched. Basic fire control systems. That is, that is very, very interesting. I'm glad we got some oil now. All we have are destroyers, which kind of suck. And we have the Beijing Compromise. Very cool. Now, I don't know what's going to happen. Except that we're probably going to fall into civil war, but hey, you know what? What's a mod without a good little civil war? Civil war breaks down in the east. Very cool. Will there be anything left of the empire or Austria? Oh boy! Send more. Or, oh no, no, send more Persians to work for the British. The British are expanding their operations, of course. Well, new wells found in Luristan means more Persian laborers in attendance will be needed for to support Apox operations. We can pay off a little bit more of our debt. Um, can we actually get anybody who can give us more political power? Then again, I don't know how how much there is here for Iran. I was recommended I should play this. So, we'll see what happened. That's not bad. 0.07 is pretty, actually not bad. Let's grab that one. Oh, yeah, Indochina, a play. So, now we get 0.9, which isn't great. I mean, it does give us more resource efficiency gain, but then again, eh, it's not too bad. Get more fuel. Was it worth it? Eh. That's my response. Eh. Cool, anyways, let's go and train these guys up. If we can, let's promote a field marshal, if possible. Fazola Zahidi. Zahedi. Hello. Good day. Let's get some research stuff done. Ah. Disperse industry, thank you. The 1936 Mashriq Revolt. Unrest in a British colony? That's hardly news. I, I, I'll be honest. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll say something else once we're down here. A few, a few weeks ago, APOC prospectors began a new series of investigations into speculated speculated oil formations outside uh, other presently exploited fields. And today, following countless hours of tireless work beneath the sweltering Persian sun, reports have come in that massive oil reservoirs have indeed been found deep beneath the ground. The APOC has therefore requested that the Shah and his government expand companies' concessions to cover the new oil deposits, as well as a complete tax exemption throughout all of Persia as opposed to just the previously agreed upon areas in the southern edges of the country. The delegates from the APOC have offered these renegotiated terms in lieu of a number of debt service payments which cannot be covered with the current revenues. While it is also true that the government will receive a uh, sizable share of the profits, the Shah's court was outraged that the imperial government was not able to secure a large share of the revenue from the new concessions. More concerning are the expanding concessions. Vocal arguments have filled the Imperial Palace for hours now, demonstrators taking to the streets to oppose this apparent abnegation of Persian sovereignty. At the end of the day, of course, the Shah said that, with a heavy heart and with much regret, he's accepted the com company's proposal. The Shah cited the fact that refusal could result in a government default, possibly provoking a dramatic response from London. Of course, the events which he emphasized the Persian nation ca literally cannot afford. The public has been further, rather less than understanding the government's situation, violently expressing discontent in a number of cities. The APOC is rumored to be expanding the deployment of mercenary troops in the response. The company can squeeze much from a stone. <laughs> the revolution in Japan is victorious. Curse the Reds advance evermore. Whoa, revolution in Japan. Ah, I've seen him before. He's got some weird teeth, but okay. Famine in Zilto Russia? Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. That's all we'll give him though. I should play as Anarchist in Japan sometime. Very cool. Very cool. And what, do we, what is this one? Wait, uh, Anglo... Debt... Oh, God! Debt management. Oh! Oh, even with this guy, we're losing political power every single... Holy crap! Why? <laughs> Why do you do this to us, guys? Thorvald Staunting, re-elected Danish Prime Minister. Also, have you heard that? That was my water bottle hitting the desk. Um, I drink a lot of water, sorry. I'm a thirsty guy. Like, I am. Wow. I drink a lot. I probably drink more than... A cow. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Cool. Anyways. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen after this. I, I literally haven't tried this off screen, so what we're doing here together is the first time I've ever played... I think this is the first time I've ever played Iran on this channel. But you know what? I saw that the, these guys have a unique focus tree, so we're going to try it out. The onion incident. Ooh, onions. This incident happened in Ilam. A city well known for its oil production. It was also happens to be full of Kurds. A flashpoint for violence and ethnic strife if there ever was one. While the sequence of events remains unclear, we have got a rough understanding of what's going on. Apparently, some onion vendor in the city was playing his wares when he got into a fight with an Englishman over the prices. While both blamed each other, the incident was used to sp used to spark a major protest that grew into a riot, unfortunately. Some socialist elements in the mob directed them to attack a prison and to free the onion salesman, claiming him to be a hero opposing the tyranny of Britain and the Shah. This shouldn't be a major cause for concern, if not only for the fact that the socialists not only blame the British for the arrest and the, of the innocent onion salesmen, but have risen to attack their offices and anyone who so much as speaks English, pelting them with rocks and symbolically onions. Believing him to be the ringleader, we secretly had the idiot onion salesman sneak back to Tehran for interrogation, and we're going to discover the full extent of his plans. 
Numerous parts of the country are rioting, much of it stirred up by the socialists. The British ambassador, who also made a personal visit to the Shah, informing him that his nephew had been greatly insulted by some vegetable merchant and demanding justice. Still, we believe that we can salvage just by interrogating who people, or the people on the streets, cheer on as the Onion Revolutionary, and working out the full extent of his little plot to overthrow the Shah. Still worse. Communications have slowed down, and a number of cities' administrations are crippled by the, a spontaneous solidarity demonstrations. Oddly, he can feign cluelessness perfectly. This looks totally okay. This is, does not look like 1971 or 1972 TNO, Iran, or Persia. Your Majesty, we've lost communications with Bandar i Abbas. What's it, Zahir Shah? Feeling a seething unrest within his body, his throat spilling acid into his mouth. If you're lying, I will have you executed, good sir. He picked up his phone, taking, talking to APOC representatives in Tehran. They've taken everything. Our administrators are being imprisoned, or worse, executed, said the voice behind the speaker. I, I declared total mobilization. No mercy for the dudes that are destroying our ancient nation. The Shah's thundering voice proclaimed across his palace, and yet not a single one of the revolutionary, re revolutionaries was listening. All over this, over the price of an onion? Down with the Shah, the English, and the onion prices. Socialist Persia. Um, I, I mean, obviously you can tell which way we're going to go, but, hmm. And I'll go Socialist Persia, why not? Oh, that's not good. We're splitting two. That is not good. I don't know how far they are behind or ahead of us, but let's see. I like the flag. Oh, we have no one here, basically. Okay, then. Oh, it sucks that we have that horse over there, too. Um, where are our divisions? I need... Oh, my goodness. This is not good. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, I don't think we'll have enough time to actually build really anything here. Are you can build that there. Yeah, we got two. Um, that's not great. That's really not great. Yeah, we're probably going to lose that area, too. Whatever it is, what it is. Divisions? Um, we have infantry, 12 combat. You know what? Let's make cavalry. Cavalry is going to be much stronger right now. Do we have any spare guns? No, we don't. That sucks. Uh, that's a case. We don't even have a god dang factory. Jesus Christ. Oh, we also... Oh, well, whatever. Um, no national. F oh, look at this! That's a nice little tree we have. Revolution of the people, seven day focus. The Persian people shall fight the oppressors as one, fight as brothers and sisters against the royals and the British thugs alike. We are one people, one working class, one nation who suffers while all others go fat. Our revolution will bring an end to this accursed system. Very nice decisions. Nothing there, that's really interesting, so. Alright, boys, let's go at it. Let's go get them. Um, yeah, take the airfield if you can, actually. That'd probably be good. The Persian Civil War. Oh, they're, they're moving. May the Imperialists tremble. Get to the line. Get to the line. Not of manpower. Oh, civilian oversight. Do we have anything else here? Yeah, there you go. Use the horses for now. Oh, boy. Um, you want to hold for now. Come on, boys. Move those, those legs a little bit faster. Go to there. Go there. Go there. Um, go here. Revolution of the people. Followed up with Horns of Liberation. Not bad. Beyond Pain and Suffering is not bad either. I like that a lot. Strangle the British Puppets. We lose manpower. People won't like that, though. Uh, destroy... That's an interesting. Destroy all destroyers. Red Guard Officers, which is okay. We get more... Ooh. I'll do Horn of Liberation first. Do you hear the sound? Sounds that echo across the Persian lands. Echoes across the mountains and pours into the Caspian Sea and Persian Gulf. Horn of Liberation sounds a clear angelic voice. Define the maddening rattle of our chains. We have nothing to lose but our accursed chains. Nice. Good, go in if you can. I'm only using this to stop them here right now, so. That's literally the only reason why they're there. Oh, are you kidding me? Go in, you ding dongs. Horns of Illusion. Um, they actually beat these guys up, which is not good. Actually, we can still risk it. Horns of Liberation. Uh, beyond pain and suffering, our struggle may be painful and it may be full of hardships. Many of our brothers and sisters alike are dying for our just and noble cause. We shall fight even beyond the borders of our pain. We will not lose if our bodies can no longer move from hunger or pain. This is a battle that we simply just cannot lose. Where's the capital? Oh, it's, okay, that's, that's good. It's down here. That's, not, that's pretty good, actually. You guys just go ahead and come down here and just take everything you can. Uh, do that to that to that to that to that to that. There you go. Cut them on. Um, I don't like this current setup that we currently have. Are these these guys moving? No, they're not. That's fine. Estefan? Can you guys go here to here to here? Just go to Tehran if you can. Screw it. Um, you're almost there too, so... There you go. Something like that, maybe. This is very risky. This is incredibly risky. Holy crap. You know what you could do? 
go straight for Tehran. They left it open, so. I don't like this down here, though. This is this is really bad. They could cut us off very easily. Let's do that. And Red Guard officers. Our army mostly consists of ragtag groups of Iranian people. Some members of the more radical far-right groups fighting with us to destroy the Shah British menace. And while their fervor is admirable, they need a direction. And former Red Guard members that fled Russia into Persia are more than ready to give them to it. Or give them it. Come on. Good. You can go here and go there, maybe. Take Tehran. Tehran is ours. That's good, good, good. You guys go, um, there, 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 there. Hurry up, please. My god, you guys are taking so long up there. Why are you taking so long? Why do you take so long? Oh, you guys gotta go here. Um, go right there. It's, it's fine. Hey, look at that. Nice. Go here, too. Red Guard officers, take every weapon. Sword, guns, club, anything. Anything that can be considered a weapon. We need all that can kill enemies of our revolution. All weapons are needed. We cannot supply our own troops for now, but in the future, in the bright future, we will be able to. Oh, look at that. Nice. Look at that. You guys go in here. Um, you guys actually help out right here, too. You're just going to keep them in place, and you're going to go right there and there. There you go. That's all we want to do right now. Good, good, good. Tehran is ours. Hopefully, we can kill these guys off, too. And, actually... A little bit of lag, but that's okay. Good commander for everybody. Um, you go here, because actually I'm going to promote that guy. This guy. So he's level 1, but that's okay. Because he's going to begin aggressive assaulter. Or offensive doctrine when we get there. So now we should do a little bit more damage here. Hopefully. The summer coup war. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Come on. Hopefully that'll be if that's all we need. Um, you guys are doing okay, hopefully. I was going to get that place back too, which sucks. It's fine, whatever. Hold for now, hold for now, hold for now, hold for now. Take every weapon. Strangle the British puppets. The Shah's goons terrorizing the local population means that they will probably join our cause. These agents, those agents, will sabotage your armories and bases. They will bleed out slowly, making them weaker than the, before the unstoppable wave of socialism. Very nice. That's good. That's good. That's not going so well. Um, that's, that's is looking a lot nicer, actually. This is looking not too bad. Uh, go back in. I don't care. If you fight and die, that's fine with me. Are they moving in? That's fine. They're taking the bait. That's good, good, good. Political actions? No, I don't like caring about that one. Oh, you're down here too. Look at that. Kill them off. There you go. Nice. Strangle the British puppets and sabotage their navy. The British may operate may, navy operating in the Gulf and bringing in soldiers must be sabotaged because if this continues. We, we ain't going to survive for very long. It's going to be real about that. Even if they come up here, there's it's still okay. Uh, hey. Well, they died. How many men have we lost? Two thousand versus six thousand. Not bad. Oh, uh, come on, take it, 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 come on! <laughs> keep them in place, keep them in place. Keep them. Oh, come on! What the heck, you piece of garbage! Ah! <laughs> Sorry. It's just like, what the heck? I've tried so hard. Force the attack, you pieces of crap. Force it, force it, force it. Kill them off. For the love of God, just kill them off. And that's so stupid. So incredibly stupid. That's so aggravating. You could have taken it. You could have taken it, but you chose not to take it. Jesus Christ. You had more than enough time to kill them off. More than enough time. That is so incredibly stupid. And now these guys are encircled. Oh my god. I might have to go back and reload the save. Yeah, I probably have to go back and reload the save. This is stupid. Why? Why? Go here, you ding-dongs. You could have taken... Come on. You could have taken it. This... You're, you're forcing the attack. Either kill them or die. I don't care. I'm pissed off at this now. Holy crap. Holy mother flipping crappers. Die down there then. Die. If you refuse to take Kerman, then so be it. Kill them off for the love of God. Come on. Every single last one of them. How thick are these divisions? This is ridiculous. They're just infantry. Our guys suck so much. They suck so much. Is there anything else we could do here? Like, get any military people here at all? Or... Get a little bit more soft stack. I guess we'll probably go with this one then when we can. But Jesus Christ. I'm sorry that I'm raging over in the first episode, but my god. That pisses me off. They're gonna leave. That's good. Hopefully go back in there. Go. You, you stupid idiots. Force the attack. Come on. I don't care I really don't care if it's mountains. I really don't. I really just do not care. We got Kerman. You stay there. We got Tehran. That should be enough. That should honestly be enough. Come on. Do we got him? Do we got him? No. We don't got him. Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? We have the three major victory points, and we it's still not enough. It's still not enough. Are you kidding me? Why? Why? What else do we need? 
<laughs> what? What? This is insane. Like, come on. Come on, man. First industry. Grab that ahead of time. This is urban. We should definitely be able to win here. Oh my god. Uh, what are we going to do here? They keep popping out more divisions. Yeah, the other side must be insanely easy to play as in. This is ridiculously hard. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. This is this is really stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Keep these guys in place. Come on. I mean, come on, man. This is so dumb. If we can take Rasht, that should be it, right? That's all we probably need. Come on, move your chubby little horse legs. Come on. Go on. If you're going to screw it up, screw it up then. Properly. Come on. That should be it. Okay, I apologize for that, but my god, that is... This is not a fun civil war. This is really pain in the butt civil war, in my opinion. Beyond pain and suffering, that was suffering, I swear to god. But for session of the Workers' Council. After a long and grueling struggle, we achieve what we desired. Shah and his minions are kicked out of Persia, fleeing like scared dogs. Now that the situation is stable, it's time to start Iranian Workers' Council no to row understanding what we need to build our homeland. I'm sorry, man, but the other side must be super easy to play as. Tw up to 20 divisions? That's ridiculous. Look at his glasses. Those look really nice. Where's the Radmanesh? Very cool. Uh, so we, what are we going to do? The Radmanesh becomes general counselor. Huh. Some workouts. I like that. We have a jungle. Vanguard socialist versus popular socialist. Persian Red Army. All right. Technocracy Inc. wins American general. Oh. Oh, boy. More equal than the Turks. World Revolution. Ooh. Restore the old borders. The liberation, not imperialism. Capital of the Middle East. Ooh, I kind of like that. Liberator Eastern Brothers. I like that one as well. Son of Marx eternally shines. Ooh. Pursue persification pers policies. Mild socialist reforms. Leadership from Rasht. Mm, all right. Federalization of conquered territory. I don't know, man. Remove the Brits, remove the monarchs. Reconcile the Iran party. Seek regional allies versus invite Germany. Ooh, we get the Germans here. Pass mass unionization. Ooh, there's a lot of things here. Defend the revolution, of course, we like that as well. Mm, that's not bad. Minus 10%. I just, we just gotta make sure which way we wanna go first. A lot more political power. That's really nice. That's actually really nice. Holy crap, judiciary reforms. That's a lot more. The first session of the Workers' Council. Let me go back through here first. Constitutional talks. Um, 10%. I mean, there's 50% on the other side. Like, Marx and Islam. I think I know which way we want to go. But the first session of the Workers' Council. While the Civil War may have been won and the greatest struggles of the Persian worker are undoubtedly over, there's still much work to be done in consolidating control of the socialist movement. The people that fought for the revolution were unified in a desire for routing foreign domination over Persia. But this does not mean there was any form of general agreement on a specific ideology within socialism that the Persian Revolution ought to follow. Now that the celebrations and jollities of liberation have begun to subside, it is time that we address the issue of leadership. For the first time in a nation's history, Persia has become a true democracy. Not one fitted with the liberal illusions of democracy which seek to only keep the capitalists in power will give them the illusion of popular will. No. Persia has become a true democracy, one where the old feudal institutions hold no sway over the workers. With such massive of people, we could only have hoped to follow with the will of the people by holding free nationwide elections, naturally. Reactionary parties were forbidden from running, and those with a connection to pro shah forces were not allowed to vote either. But other than those necessary restrictions on anti-worker groups, there were no restrictions on who could vote. The elections have been filled with a myriad of different parties and independents, but the election was dominated by two main factions, the Django party led by Mirza Kolcha Khan, and a broad coalition calling itself the Tuda led by Reza Radmanesh. The Django party was originally a separatist organization, waging a low-level insurgency in the northern parts of Persia. Now they espouse a more nationalist rhetoric, being strong supporters of both the liberation of the people and the ideal of an Iranian republic. The Django's party's aims are for the immediate development of the procedural forces, or productive forces, via industrialization of Iran. So you may rise up from being a 
feudal desert into the tiger of the Orient. Additionally, more controversially, the decentralization of the nation into a socialist federation of all Iranian peoples. This platform is further made popular among more conservative-minded voters by the party refusing to take a secular stance, rather than hold a specific religious doctrine. The Django insists that Islam can and will work alongside socialism. The Tuda, meanwhile, is a far newer organization being formed from various socialist and Marxist councils, many of which were the ones that fired the first shots of the revolution and war of independence against the Shah and the British. The Tuda wish to retake the lands of the Shah and lost, while also seeking to create a new type of socialism, a form of syndicalist agrarianism. Unique to the material conditions of Iran, controversially, the Tuda also wishes to standardize the Persian language as lingua franca across minority populated regions, in order to ensure that such acts of subversion cannot happen again. And after so, after weeks of campaigning from both sides, the nation holds its breath as representatives of the Workers' Council walk into the first session of the Workers' Council, form the Tuda party. The Hebs -e jungle forms a government. And this one is Popular Socialist. And this one is Vanguard Socialist. So I kind of like this route. I want to try this one just because that's ridiculously strong. Plus 25% more political power, which is nice. I mean, and plus 50% more. That's that's so much more pee pee. Like, holy crap. I, I want to go down that way. So Popular Socialist is the way, right? Uh, yeah. The Tuda Party. Uh, Reza Radmanesh. One of the greatest sons of the Iranian people, a new face in socialist movement has become the first general counselor of Persian Soviet Socialist Republic. May his vision lead Persia into the better future. Yeah, the other side in the Civil War has got to be super easy then. At least, or at least easier, much easier compared to this side. Because this is... Well, we had nine divisions max, and they were up to 20? Jesus Christ, 20? 20? What? What? Uh, we do have quite a bit of army XP. How much? Do we have any equipment? Uh, we have a few guns. We can probably... Militia have boats or gun trucks. All right, fourteen. That's not bad. Um, I, we might try to go with twenty combo with. We'll see. Infantry here, so um, actually, you guys are still twelve, so you can go. Uh, you guys are okay. Cavalry brigades are fine. Armor divisions would be nice to have, but we're probably not going to make them. Um, I gotta separate these guys about. Cool and trained. Um, uh, hey, look, Kurds. Recall unpopular representatives. Weekly stability does go up. Uh, popular socialism. Um, weekly war support would be nice too, but that's all right. We have 13 out of 56 days, which is not bad. All right, after this, persification policies to begin standardizing the front country country on Faris, or Farsi, or Fars, yeah, Far, Farsi. Mild social reforms, more political power, more construction speed, less cap, less, less growth for 180 days, or Persian Red Army. I like that one too. Leadership from Rasht. Of course, we can get into that one because it's that way. I like the icon for this one. This looks really cool. Look at that. Look at that icon. So cool. But I think I want to do mild social reforms to get more political power first and stability. While Shahdom's practices were inefficient and blatantly hateful towards working people, we cannot simply discard them. Reforms should be, but we should be mild in our goal to enforce them. Socialism is achieved slowly. All right. And once again, I apologize for my, uh, I wouldn't say ragey habits, but just, you know, my displeasure during some of the more difficult parts of that civil war. Jesus Christ. I know it's going to be difficult, but mm, not bueno. No bueno. Go Superior Firepower because you can. Alright. Mild social reforms and then pursue pacification. Uh, I like the blueprints. I mean, the blueprints are not bad, but they, they, when I see blueprints, they don't tell me that I have to do them immediately. Like, I can probably ignore them. Mass conscription of the army of workers. So lose army experience gain. More promotion costs. Better max entrenchment, which is nice. Crucial population factor, army leader cost, construction speed, not bad. Defend the revolution would be very nice to do as well. Get more air attack, huh? Nationalize the oil. Ooh, radio is really nice too. Uh, it is 1937, so happy 1937, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Uh, partial mobilization. Keep going, boys and girls. We're doing a great thing right now. Mm, cut it down to one. Oh, more infantry. There you go. And there you go. Follow it up with what? Nationalize it. That's not bad. I like the stability. And civvies. That's really, really good. German advisors. That'd be really nice. Peaceful land distribution. Social education. More construction speed. I want that extra research. Though. Pursue specification policies. Lands of Persia are inhabited not only by Iranian people, but by many others as well. Arabs, Azeris, Turk of all. Turk all others speak of their own tongues. They all speak their own tongues. But to ensure continued existence of the socialist state, we must start pacification so that all people can leave in harmony. Leave? No, no, they're not leaving. They're joining. They can live in harmony. They can... That is very weird. 111 and then 112 for both of these. That is... That's a lot of research to do. 
I'd love to nationalize the oil, and we could use the stability, don't get me wrong, but 55% is already pretty good already. Uh, race conscription level, we might do that later on. I think we can probably wait. Uh, so after this one, we'll do social education. You know, I want to do that one in... Yeah, actually, doing this one would be super good to get first. All children are our future. We need to bring them up in the way of socialism so they will not stray from this path. The enemy thoughts may pierce their minds, eyes, ideas of reactionaries. Our schools and kindergartens must ensure that our youth is socialist and will stay socialist. Uh, there you go. There you, you guys go this a certain way. There you go. One point four is actually pretty darn nice. All right, who else can we get here? Fifty. Not that guy, but this guy. Oh, we lose. Ah, uh, I like the. That's actually pretty strong for combat. The more encryption is usually pretty good. It's only minus point zero four, so I'm not too worried about that one. Uh, this stuff's okay for a minister. Uh, these guys kind of suck. I'll be honest. These guys kind of really actually suck. Hmm. I'm. Can we get anyone else here? Industry. Build the cities faster. That's better. Cool. Social education, my friends. In about three days left, we'll get, and we'll do this one. We'll get some more construction speed, base, and research speed. Uh, now, how do we spend our PP here? Anything here? Persification? How do we pers? Can we? Any? No. Well, I guess technically we have to wait. Maybe later when we actually take out the Kurds and stuff. Maybe. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Defend the revolution into the skies on the seas. The Gulf is ours. Establish red wings. Nuclear attack, of course. Second session. Oh, that's cool. Class struggle. We like the class struggle. Um, the international leads the way. Assist the world revolution would be nice. So, after this, ooh, I want to do this one. We could really use the research slot, and then we'll go for a ton more political power. Just so much political power. Establish Rabar. That's kind of cool, too. But socialist youth, schools and kindergartens are not enough to raise Marxist spirit in hearts of young Persians. What we need is an organization that will touch children's basics of survival in the wild and love to social love of socialism at the same time. Yeah. Teach children basics of survival. Did I say touch children basics? No. Teach children basics of survival. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, God. That sounds... Mm. Let's not bring that up. Oh, boy. Um, anyways. I, I, I'm kind of surprised that actually we have enough steel here for what we need. That's actually a little surprising to me. Don't get it wrong, I like it, but still. It gives more factors, though. Ah, uh, very good, very good. Um, 37, 38. Um, fuel? I mean, I think we're doing fine on fuel. We can grab some of that. We're doing our land auction, too. Let's grab some of this, too. After that, superior firepower. Delay auction, because we love organization here. Actually, what does delay auction do? Less tactics, movement. More attack damage. Less de defender tactic damage. Okay, cool. Very cool. We're a generous victory in the Spanish Civil War. Also, we are on historical. I didn't. I don't know if I told you that, but we are on historical currently. So, after this, implement egalitarianism. Before that terrible civil war, our nation was famous for its strict gender roles and backwards perspective on gender equality. But after instituting our reforms, the people of Persia realized how much equality matters in a society. We love each and every gender in Persia here equally. Egalitarian reform, so we get 25% more political power, which is very strong. 10% more construction speed, which is pretty nice as well. And daily popular social support. There will be no room for disagreements. Got it. Where does the persification things? Oh, I want to persify stuff. Um, oh, the same one. Uh, tanks. I don't know if we're really going to use tanks. Tanks in the mountains are just really bad to use, I'll be honest. It's not really worth it. We're building up cities. Go and do that one first. And then, sure, why not? Because we can't do that guy. Thank you. Ah, screw it. We'll take you too. Why not? So now we get 1.36, which is fine, because we're going to get much more very soon anyway, so. Austrian Reich. Oh. Actually, is Mr. Funny Mustache Man leading the Reich? Actually, does anyone have upgrades? No. Oh, that's a nice Baltic general government. I like his mustache. Pavel. Um, Zionist Revolt. Oh, the Jews have risen up. Oh, Zdolfus. Go, 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 you bunch of Jews. Accelerationists. We love the accelerationists. All right, and then we're also going to do oh 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 a full three such slots. A joyous day, my friends. Joyous day. Maybe we can discover what artillery is someday. Mm, we're from. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Peaceful land distribution. I do want more. Oh, that's really nice as well. Agarian stuff. Regional councils. That's not bad. Uh, Persian Red Army. Let's go to Persian Red Army just because even though it's a fifty-six day focus. Um, we, I want the bonuses to land auction now. What we had during the revolution was unacceptable. Our forces won in large part due to the assistance of Russian exiles and Azeri partisans. What we need now is our own elite Red Guard that will defeat all treats to socialist future of our people. That will defeat all uh, enemies maybe to, socialist, to the socialist future of our people. Iranian Red Guards must be formed. 
Yeah. Um, I'm going to assume that whoever wrote this is not a native English speaker, which is okay. Just uh, it's a little funky. The language is just a, just a, a little funky. A little funkiness. Um, yeah, get more extraction because you can. Well, Iran is coming aboard because we have now four research slots. We're just like everyone else now. Well, Poland looking, Poland do be looking kind of nice. Hungarian Soviet Republic, not bad. Transylvania, M Romania split into two. Uh, Alberto the first and the Kingdom of Italia. I have played Italy once. It was kind of fun. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, Italy is definitely kind of crazy. Um, we don't need to do this one just because we're going to get more than enough support eventually. And let's do this, but to let us end this episode, unfortunately, a little bit earlier than when I normally end it. But we're going to end it with... What are we going to end it with? Nationalizing... I like. I don't mind this stuff. German military advisors will be quite nice. Um, I do want to get down here to defend the revolution, though, but... Let's just do it with the reform of the judiciary to get some more political power gain. Cool, we'll do that one. And peaceful land distribution. While some radical groups propose complete collectivization of land and communi communalization of Iranians, it will simply make us the same as thrice cursed Shah. What we need is slow and equal land redistribution. But if you enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and let me know. What do you think would be a good intelligence agency for the socialist Iranian state? Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great, great rest of your day.